I still say the toothing beam is fucked up. We're not gonna kill you. We're just gonna kick, like, take your teeth out so that you're gonna starve to death slowly. Some more lore over here. I should, like, in hindsight, and I do this every damn time, I should have played on... <laughs> Why the hell are you pissed off? Whatever. I should have played on the... whatever side, the rebel side. Double kill. Because if I do play at launch, this is the class and faction combo that I'll go with. Well, I guess the bright side is I can blow through all of it really quickly. Yeah, there is definitely worse things in death. And being an animal that relies on your teeth. Whoa, what are you? Oh, shit, I hit the wrong button. That's why. One of you jackasses. Well, you guys think you're hot shit, don't you? Killed my thing. Why are these guys, like, way harder than everything else? Oh, pff. Wow. Bullshit. I went too far. Man, why were those guys, like, way harder than every other f enemy we fought? Were they marked as something? Ah, this creature is ranked nearly or equal. Hold on, so if I pick this, these guys are pretty weak. This creature is ranked easy. Ah, okay. So that's kind of like, not quite an elite. Wait, now this one, now wait, now it's marked as an equal. What the hell? I don't get it. Whatever. I'm getting this. That's all that matters. Yeah, apparently, buffaloes are top tier. Maybe it was because I killed one, and I moved there talking about the entire encounter. Who knows? Because that definitely had more hit points than normal. Get your ass over here. Stop running away. Jackass. Now I'm going to, in peace, collect these resources. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. When you, like, yeah, these mobs are super easy. And then, like, you find, like, the one mob who's, like, 20 levels higher. Final Fantasy like to do that. Like these random enemies that were like, ah, you thought you were, these were really easy? These are slightly different. Keeps you on your toes, if nothing else. All right, we need more rats. More rats to detooth. Hey, there's a, um, whatever the rogue type class is called. I forget. God damn it. More rats. I need more rats. No, just, just get it. Damn it. Sneak. Grab around the barrel. You have to be right on top of it. You gonna, you gonna take it or not, or? There you go. There you go. More herbs for her. Oh, aqua shroom. Kill these birds at every opportunity. Assholes. Double kill. There's one.
EverQuest liked to do that too, but it was more of it was more obvious. Like they'd have like a fro like a hill giant wandering around. Like that was always pretty pretty fun. Trying to avoid the stupid hill giant with your level fifteen ass. Just trying to kill crocodiles in Oasis. Or some jackass train specters from the Spectre Island. Hello. Hello, mate. Hi, Gumda. All right, so we got all the food for the stuck up person. Get him. Bruiser bot. You didn't really get him very well. Hello. Maybe I can find more in town. While I go turn this in. Any more rats? Any more rats? I'm reading the in game chat. All right, so this is the only one we needed, right? The combat aid selector. We did the light reach recycler. And we did the travel boost. I was expecting you. Uh, belong in the lovely halls. Blah blah blah. The herbs and vegetables are filthy, yet they will do for the time being. I nearly. Fainted for my lack of proper sustenance. <laughs> you poor baby. You didn't happen to find any wine out there, did you? Oh, yeah. There's usually wine out in the middle of a cow pasture. All right. So. Wait, where am I? Vigilant. Okay, so we did do this. Vigilant stand is done now. And we should have more settler XP. Uh, I don't know. I was kind of doing things. I really still don't understand how the fuck all that works. Like, just refresh my buffs while we're here. And do some more. Oh, good lord. You're about to get boned. Uh, I'll be nice. I'll save you. Because I'm so badass. Well. Ha ha. <laughs> Golds. He's Gold's Jim. That's what he named himself after. Except it's God's fields. Uh, where are these little rats? There's too many of these rats that we had to do. I feel like there's too many. Maybe the quest thing will actually pop up on this one. So I can say, yeah, there was too many. Too many rats I had to de-teeth, de-tooth. Yeah, I don't quite... Why don't they just say, I need one of ten, or two... I've got two of ten. Like, why is it... You have 14%. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing the idea is that, for example, one of the quests was to kill wildlife. So I'm guessing, like, if you kill the tougher wildlife, those count for more than others, I guess. But then, like, stuff like this... Ah, shit. Then it doesn't really matter.
Fucking die, bitch. What the hell? They're not really buffalo. They're just kind of, sort of like buffalo. That one rat reach in? No. Respawn? No. Oh, are you stupid rats? Wow, okay. That something was going ape shit over there. It's just a rock spinning around. Ding, 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 look. Ah, this is like, this is such an age old problem that I really despise when I see it happen yet again. Where it's like, oh, you need to find X amount of these, or kill X amount of these creatures, or gather X amount of these things. And, like, do... What? And doing so, like, you have to fight other people for the stuff. So, like, you end up running around forever trying to find the goddamn things. Like, that's such an old problem. Like, how how are you still running into this problem after all these, like, over 10 years? How is this still a problem? It doesn't help that the stupid... There we go. Yeah, the stupid bot was killing them, too. I noticed he was killing them before, but it looked like he was killing them after it was finished. All right, oh, God damn it! Of course, there's not a path over here. Why would there be? Oh, hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah, there's a story. There's actually quite a bit of lore that you can pick up. Where is it? There's no TV or movies or anything, but uh, let's see. Where is it? Honestly, you usually don't want T like you don't want MMOs and game. Well, MMOs in particular, you do not want them usually after a movie or something because then you have to worry about sticking with the canon and all of that. And you run into the crap like star wars where it's like well unless they give us license to do whatever we want then we have to stick within these guidelines and blah 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 uh so yeah zone there's zone lore you can click on various things and there's like a shitload of stuff that you can read about what's going on but i guess in a nutshell these two factions opposing factions found nexus <laughs> this planet that we're on and they're fighting for it. That's that's what it boils down to. But there seems to be more to it than that. You collect many slank teeth. Make Tanny very happy. Rodents not chew wires now. Very happy. The secrets of science are ours to exploit. <laughs> Alrighty. He's very happy about science. I can't blame him though. <laughs> Somebody else was asking, what server is this again? Stop putting me outside, you prick. I mean, I guess you get a little bit of rep for doing that. Okay, well, anyway, I think we're done in this area. We still need to oh, get that Hydra Guard. That's right. Let's go see if there's anybody doing that. Oh, no, this server is Alyssa. I think somebody just said the server is Alyssa. My bad. I knew it was an M or an O, but you didn't mention Alyssa in the list. All right, Hydra Guard. Should be over here somewhere. Where are you at? Dog. 
I don't see no unbound Hydra Guard. There's something over there. A Stone Ridge Boulder. Let's kill it. While we wait. Maybe maybe somebody just killed it or something. Son of a bitch. Some bitch. I should do extra water since I'm using electricity on him while he's, you know, in the water. I'm just barely within range. Is there anything back here? It's like an ideal place to hide things. Ha! <laughs> the M server has a lot of French people on it. Yeah, somebody actually I saw in chat say something like they had got they had made on a server and got to like level 10 and then realized pretty much everybody was speaking French. Oh, hmm. I guess we can kill this guy, apparently. Ha, <laughs> nice. Okay. And that wasn't him or anything, but... Oh, maybe we can, uh... No? Thought maybe we could do something now that we killed that one guy? Uh, well, alright. I guess that's not working. Yeah, that's the problem with tutorials like that is they don't really think about, okay, what if this is my second or third or fourth character? Like, I don't want to run through all that shit again. Final, Final Fantasy kind of had, because Final Fantasy had a big problem with, like, the, the first hour or two where that, where that goddamn just running around town doing shit. And the argument was, well, you're probably not going to make more than one character because you can switch classes. Like, you can have one character that has every single class max out and that was of course that completely ignores whoa it completely ignores if you want to make on another server or something but okay you know what all right let's just give up on this I'm not I'm not finding him let's, okay these two quests are not working Yeah, that's true. That's the thing. Like, you think when they people make these games and you're like, okay, there's no way a challenger. Hmm. I don't know what a challenger is, but... Well, in this context... interesting but yeah like you see these games and they're so like not necessarily the whole entire game is dumbed down but like the intro and the tutorials are like jesus like how stupid do they think people are and then you see shit like that like his videos and you're like oh my god it's like this is why like this is why they make these completely dumbed down tutorials for people who are like okay press w to move forward okay press a to move back okay walking in the fire causes damage you shouldn't do that like you think surely nobody's that stupid and then you watch this is how you don't play and it's like oh well then i guess i was wrong 
Um, let's see if we can find another town, I guess. There's probably a town here. So let's follow this road. Highland Bull. Come get you some, Bull. Come get you some. Well, this tells you the WSD too, but to be fair, like I do think MMOs in particular do need to be a little bit over the overdone because to, a lot of people just assume like, okay, I'm hopping into MMO. I know how this works. Oh, hey, here's the, oh no, this is something else. Like assume like, you know what you're doing, right? It's like, oh, you, you've played MMOs before, but there's people out there who still haven't played MMOs. And like this Wildstar might be somebody's first MMO and Elder Scrolls Online might be somebody's first MMO. So you do need to kind of explain how the mechanics work, the basic mechanics work. But just I'm talking more about like common sense things, not necessarily like, um, you know, movement, how to interact with the game. But things like if your health drops all the way down to zero, you die. And, you know, we take a lot of things for granted, like mana, right? Like, we take mana for granted. We know you use mana to cast spells. When you run out of spe mana, you can't cast spells, and you usually wait for it to replenish, or you use mana pots. Like, this is so ingrained. But I remember talking to a friend of mine several years ago, and I was trying to get her into WoW. And I was like, okay, well, this is your health bar, and this is your mana bar. And she's like, well, what's mana for? I was like, well, you, you use it to cast spells. She's like, okay. She's like, so she's like, but like explain how it works. Like, and I was just like, whoa, was like this is somebody who hasn't played games like all their lives and never played a game that required mana. So it was, it was so weird, so alien to me that I had to kind of explain to her like what mana was. It wasn't that she was stupid. It was just that we take all that stuff for granted. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, Dark Souls does rule. Well, another thing you have to keep in mind is we're getting more people from consoles on the PC. So, <clears throat> some people still use arrow keys. I mean, you'd be surprised at some of the crazy shit, man. You'd be cr you'd be surprised if people use the, the cursor keys to move around. Actually, you can use that if you want, looks like. But obviously, WASD is a much better choice. Ahem, <clears throat> but... Well, with a keyboard, to be fair, again, there's so many more keys. Like, with a console controller, it's like, okay, well, how do I use, how do I use rations, okay? Uh, X isn't doing it. A's not doing it. B's not doing it. Triangle's not doing it. RT, R1, L1, R2. And then you can like start and select or uh, L2 and R3. And like, that's it. Like that's all the buttons. But in this, you have 26 number keys or letter keys. You have 10 number keys. You have all the function keys, alt, spacebar, shift. So there is a little bit more to it. Shine, Shrine of the Masters. There are six offerings here, one for each of the primal powers. While the Storm Seeker Pale revere water, they apparently respect the others too. How mystical. Is I supposed to. Hmm. Is that part of a quest? I don't know. Yeah, keyboard and mouse is the best way. But think about it. Let's think about it. Let's think of it this way too. Like, you're somebody who, you know, you don't really play games. You might play like, you know, Facebook games or something like that. And, you know, you're fr you're working with a friend of yours who's like, you know, I don't really into games, but I started playing this World of Warcraft, and it's pretty amazing. So that person lo you know, loads it up, and they're not gonna have any idea how to move around. Think about your parents, okay? Think about giving your parents, like, even the tutorial, the tutorial of WoW, 
and saying, okay, here you go. Like, control this character. My mom would have no clue. Like, it would take her 10 minutes to be able to walk to the quest giver, probably. Just because it's totally alien to some people. Because there's one person I totally hooked on WoW, which I probably shouldn't have. Because she almost got a divorce because of it. But, um, but yeah, like, she didn't play any games before WoW. Like, other than, like, my, she literally was one of those people who didn't play anything but, like, Minesweeper and Solitaire. Like, that's all the games she ever played. And I can't imagine what it was like when she first in, hopped into WoW. I'm going to get all these. There's a lot of things that are just missing sounds. Like, when I'm, like, choosing... God damn it. This and I see build. Like there's no sound. In fact, I think the sound might be bugged. All right, did I get any settler XP for any of that? I don't think so. And it still says missions completed. So maybe there's an actual mission. I really don't get the settler shit. Like I really don't understand it. Uh, you don't know her. Well, it wasn't. Well, it was more of an acquaintance. I worked with her, and me and me and me and, and me and Donnie worked at this one joint together, and we were like, "Ah, oh, yeah, you got to try this World of Warcraft." She's like, "I don't know. I don't really play games," and we talked her into it. And <laughs> whoops, our bad, I guess. But yeah, I, I did all the upgrades here. I did that. I did the guards, I did the speed boost, and the recycler. I do not understand how that is supposed to work. Yeah, I do too. Like, no matter what game it is, well, unless I've played it before, I always do the tutorial. Like, there's nothing worse than somebody... No, okay, that, that did up my civil service, though. Okay, so we're good to go on civil service. Um, I guess we go do this one now? I'm trying to find quests at this point, because the only two quests I have are bugged. Now, that's also an interesting little thing I noticed that I was going to mention. Like, if I type slash and I start to type, like, advice, there's the advice channel, which seems to be, like, a general, maybe a global channel. Like, but if I type, like, A on the left-hand side, it might be hard for you guys to see, but it says advice. So I can just put a space and type in blah, blah, blah. Or if I type Z, like zone... It'll, it'll tell you where you're about to type to. I like that. It's a minor thing, but I like it. Because a lot of times, especially with a new MMO, you know the, like the format, like slash one or slash whatever. But it's different for every game. So it's nice that they actually indicate what it is. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Like, you had to play the tutorial in Witcher 2. That did help a lot. It'd be crazy to skip that if you've never played it. And I was just talking about chat in general. I wasn't referencing anything that was said in my chat. My brain is starting to wind down. I don't know what it is, man, but streaming like kind of takes it out of you. I think a lot of people don't. Oh, hello. How you doing? Challenger. Yep. You bot. Go get his ass. Electrocute. Challenger my ass. But yeah, I don't know. Like, a lot of people, I think, misunderstand the difference between playing a game and, like, streaming it and doing a Let's Play of it. Well, streaming it 
and let's playing it versus just like chilling out and playing the game. Like there's a significant to difference. I think unless you are just really, really naturally good at just blabbing on and being amusing and entertaining while you play a game, then I think it's definitely different. Like when I play a game to relax, it's way different than when I play it for a stream or for let's playing. Uh, I think I can go. Is this where I was? No, it was not. Let's keep going this way. Yeah, I mean, if I think about people like Man vs. Game who do like stream every, well, he streams, he streams five times a week. And it's usually, he usually streams a long time too. You son of a bitch. Oh, wow, he died fast. That was weird. All right, let's light these torches because only a settler could light these torches. <laughs> only, oh man, we really need your help. We got these sleeping bags. We can't unfurl them, man. Thank God we got an expert here. Ooh, it's a fire. Ah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, or just ask if you want to skip the tutorial, period. Like, if somebody never played a game before and they want to not skip the tutorial, I mean, they want to skip the tutorial, you know, more power to them. I guess the problem you run into is cases not to keep talking about him, but like DSP where like, he's like the game never explained this or the game never told me how to do this and blah, blah, blah. But then he watches videos and you see in the tutorial, it did in fact tell him how to do that. So maybe it's to kind of like cover their asses for that. Say, like, look, we tried to tell you, but mission complete. Oh, okay. I guess we only had to do one for the one mission. Okay. So we get any settler XP for that. We did. We did get settler XP for that. 342. Let's go ahead and do the other ones. Oh, we can't do the shield boosting. Or the guards. <laughs> or the light reach recycler. I like I really like this idea of the settler though. I like this idea that you have these quest hubs and settlers can boost it. And like, oh, you've got these machines here that help out fellow adventurers. I think that's really cool as shit. But I just wish uh it was like its own thing. Like that's what you did as a settler. Like, see, there's would be a cool idea, right? Like, let's say, um, and I don't know how you would manage this in an MMO, but hold on. But you say, okay, I'm running this XP boosting machine or whatever. You can use it, but it's, you know, 10 copper a piece. Like if you use it, it's 10 copper, right? So you make some money with it. But you, maybe you have some kind of, you have some kind of like fee or like, yeah, like it costs money to run it, but I don't know, like that kind of shit I think would be amazing because it's like its own little world. It's not just everybody running around doing PVE shit. There's actual players setting up these stations and, you know, creating, like getting rich off of ideas. Like it'd be really smart to put an XP station here. It'd be really smart to put a healing station here. Shit like that. Like, I love that idea. Like I just, I just love it. I think it's awesome. Like star Wars galaxies. And I keep talking about it. And again, star Wars galaxies, a lot of shit wrong, but like you could actually build your own city. And this wasn't like instance off and its own little thing, right? You could, like, think about WoW. Everybody's, everybody and their damn mothers played WoW. Think that uh, you have the main base in, in, in oh, God, Tra uh, oh, God, what was the name of that place? Um, the Barrens. And let's imagine the Barrens was, like, three times bigger than it is. You could, you and other players could build a city in the Barrens that anybody else could walk up to. And if you got the city big enough, you could do things like putting traders in there, an, an auction house. You could put uh, a travel station so that you could quick travel from 
from anywhere to that city. Just shit like that was just so awesome. And then like nobody else, as far as I know, has done it. No major MMO has done that yet. It's all been like, well, we'll have crafting on the side and we'll have virtual housing. And but that's like as far as it goes. And that's just so disappointing to me. All right, what is this mission? Signal strength. Oh, hello, giant rock thing. What's up? Get off my balls, please. If you don't mind. Of course, my little robot buddy is nowhere to be found. That's fine, I guess. It's fine, I got it. Yeah, the sounds are messed up. I think the sounds are broke. Because some, some in-game sounds like that I'm almost positive were going off before aren't working anymore. I need to try a multi-kill and see if that works. If it doesn't, then we know it'd be broke. It'd be broke. Oops. That, yeah. You are the one meant to save our civilization. By the way, I'm sweet on this girl. Could you deliver this note to her? Okay, a signal is apparently in here. And then apparently this is a impenetrable. <laughs> this guy is looking for it too, apparently. Okay. You guys, um, what's up? Mission complete. Oh, well, I guess I just had to click it. Click, click it? I had to click it. Let's go back to here, I guess. I feel like we're kind of stuck here. I'm trying to find, like, the one of the main story missions doesn't work. Yeah, I never quite understood why when a game is like trying to make you out to be the hero, don't start you off killing rats and shit. Like either don't make me the hero or make it not obvious from the start. Like with with Skyrim, pretty early on it's obvious that like you are the hero. Uh, after you've killed that first dragon and you like absorb its soul and shit, people are like, okay. There's some something going down with this guy. This guy is a badass. After that point, any major quest, a major NPC shouldn't be giving you frivolous quests. I can see normal people who are who like don't know or don't care, are just like yeah, Dragonborn, whatever. Look, I got a serious mole problem in my basement. If you can take care of that, that would be great. Oh, it's oh the oh water war right. This mission that wasn't working. Let's go look again, I guess. Yeah, I need to go kill this kill this beehive. It's been giving me hell. You gonna just kill it, lady? Eh. Well, this will get us our multi kill. Nope. Well, now they're still alive. That's probably why. Double kill. Triple kill. There he goes. There he goes. Well, that's working at least. Let's see if this guy respond. Oh, there's something. That might be him. That, that's it. There he is. 
Let's see if there's anybody else over here. This guy is marked as prime. God damn it. The creature is ranked very strong. Let's see if we can solo this some bitch. Like a boss. You wanna do something there? Oh Jesus. Japanese flagged all over that ass. Oh god damn it, these two little shitheads got in the way. Fuck off, you little twats. Double kill. Thanks. Come on. Shit. Fucking another ad. Are you sitting me? Die, you fuck. Get out of here. As for you, you little prick. You got in the damn way. Double kill. Don't fucking cry to me. Bitch. At least we got it. It's a little close. Luckily, I had those healing... Healing things. Now I can... Explain the situation. Excellent work. You've done the Dominion quite a favor with your heroics. I may as well pay you for your work. Yeah, you probably should. Since I just soloed that guy, I would probably pay me. Mission complete. Where will they go? What is this? Festival Tier 1 Fab Kit. A component required to build a Festival Tier 1 on your land. Ooh. I wonder if I wonder when you get housing. That's what I want. I want to get to the housing. I know it's totally lame, but I love uh, how player housing. I can't believe they still haven't fixed this level thing. Like I realize it's made a weekend and all, but still, like I would have thought they wanted to fix that. Oh yeah, the meleeing shit was always really dumb. Welcome to your new path level. Your path level is separate from your path level. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, new ability summon mailbox. Oh, that's pretty cool. Get summon a mailbox. You can summon a vendor bot later, an ability kiosk, and a crafting station. Cool. Yeah, I was. I got in with a group of people, and I forget how I joined up with them, but uh, we got, got in with a group, and there was one guy who was like a master architect in Star Wars Galaxies, and he ended up building us all houses, and it was like, and this was the first, and you gotta be, keep in mind, see, this is the first MMO that had houses. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I guess we're done with these emissions. But now we're kind of broke, because that poison... Spirit Walker guy is uh, not working. I guess we can go check him. Maybe he's fixed now. I remember making my droid engineer, and I remember building, or I think he had to build like the the crafting station so I could build more advanced droids in my house. And I was like, oh, this is like the bomb. I could do this forever. I get too hyped about that shit. <sighs> Would we ever see an MMO that actually has that kind of crap in it? I don't know. That, and it doesn't look like fucking Minecraft. Oh, God. Hello. I like those, those patterns on the ground that aren't just circles or rectangles. There's, like, openings in the middle. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. 
We still have 10 settler missions to discover here. This way. There's a few few that are trying to kind of go that route with the whole. What is this? This creature is ranked strong. Okay. Well, you still don't work. Can't cast a spell on him. This guy. Can I hurt him from inside here? No? I guess I could resummon my bot. Oh. Well, shit, I really don't know what to do at this point. I guess we could go back to town. Maybe there's some quests in town. They're still trying to build that temple, I guess. Is there any... Ah, uh, there is a quest over here. Quest giver, lord something or another. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed at the frame rate. Like, it's getting like 16 now. 15, 16 frames a second. I've heard a few people talking about it. Do you even have the faintest I am Lord Holocaust, and you will assist me immediately. My daughter is missing, and the buffoon I hired to find her is drunk at the Emperor's crown. Waste not a moment, citizen. Okay, speak the Corrigan Dune. Corrigan Dune. Brigadoon. I need to work out some kind of promotion deal where the Chinese place down the down the street gives me free Chinese if I just pimp them all the time. What's on your mind? I don't know how that would benefit them, but I think they should do it. I'll take another. I mean, sketch bleach. Yeah, that one. Can't, can't we work something out? <laughs> it keeps asking on these quests where it's like just run from place to place. Oops, god damn it. You clicked the wrong thing. Yes, you. You're absolutely well then, perfect. off you go. I'll just be here now. Click the bottle of nap nap juice, a box bottle of oxyan oil, and a bottle of prayer wine. Do good do. Right, this one's closest. The prayer wine. Where else would you have that but in a church? Yeah, it's inside. <laughs> Never dig straight down in Minecraft. You know that. You can't do that, man. It's, it's instant. You know you'll die if you do that. It's craziness. It's a mad. It's what a madman would do. Might as well buy my abilities that I can't use. You need help, and I don't pull my punches, pal. Oxygen oil. Do this first. Oh, you mean opening the gate? Man, I like that too. Where you had to like collect the sh like the war effort. I thought that was a good idea. I think that worked pretty well. What was the other thing? The event they did. It was like a Halloween event where you could become a zombie or something. Wait, where is this? Oh, I have to buy it. Oh, better get paid back. Carefully. Is there anything you desire? I just know oh, it's this guy because he's got the little mark. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, where you could like be a zombie and then you could attack other players and then if you infested them or infected them, I think they would like slowly die and then they would become a zombie. Like that shit was awesome. Like that shit was so much fun. Like, because you would start off fighting all the zombies because you're like, I don't want to be infected. But then you get infected and die and you're like, yeah, let's infect as many people as we possibly can. God, that was so much fun. What's the news? I have, to, oh, I have to mix the drink. Press and hold the key. Okay. I've been dying to hear from you. I'll name it the Vertigo Tea Party Surprise. Jeez. Locating the crash site. I'm still drunk. Surprise! Now you get to help me for a change. <laughs> this tracking device will help us locate Lydia's shuttle. Let's go. The pay's a, well, a bit slim, but just time for a chat. I get to enjoy my scintillating charm. <laughs> Ahoy there! I get me a heck of an issue with Revenock running wild all over my roan herds nearby. You can understand. You look to earn some coin? Them, one them birds will wipe out my whole herd. Don't you know? Get them first. Press and hold the button to win. Seriously, you win. Oh, I think that was when I was mixing. Some things, like, some things I think they do as a joke. Like, there, there was that one mission. Oh, this guy's coming with me. There's that one mission where I had to press and hold F to mix the drink. I think they do that as, like, a joke. Like, as to the, uh, as kind of a, a few things, making fun of quick time events and kind of making fun of the whole, like, mission unlocked. Ooh, settler missions unlocked. Like, the whole everybody's a winner type bullshit. So, we need supply covery. So, I don't, one other thing I don't quite understand is why do these settler missions sometimes seemingly randomly unlock? Yeah, the zombie thing was so cool. Take a dig. All right, I'm going to uh, pimp the thing real quick. Yeah, that, those missions were a hell of fun. The island where you took it back. Now, I don't know which one you're uh, talking about. The quill. Quill Donatus. I might not have been doing that one. Or I might not have been subbed during that time, maybe. Ah, uh, that's some very Star Wars music going on right now. Mission unlocked. Hazards. Keep an eye on the hazard bar at the top of your screen. Something is bound to happen when it fills up or depletes. And chances are it will be hazardous. Okay. Heat signature detected. Okay. I like how it's doing this automatically. Like, I don't have to keep casting a spell and then having it tell me, oh, it's increasing. Oh. Nope. Go this way. Yep. Yeah. Well, we located the crash site. I'd say. You look bursting with news. I'm bursting. All right. All right. Let's kill these things over here. Electrocute. Well, these are high level. Well, sort of high level. Level 10. Double kill. Triple kill. Yeah. Still love it. Has not gotten old. Has definitely not gotten old. I 
Oh. I... I vaguely recall that. I remember there was that island with all the dailies. That's when... I think that's when, like, the dailies really started to take off, I think. I remember that. I hate dailies, man. Like, there's... There, it's one of those things that sounds like a really good idea, but holy shit. Like, I mean, combat? Really? With what? What am I in combat with, game? Uh, let's go over here, maybe? Hello? Well, might as well kill these. Wake up! Double kill. Oh god, this one actually hurts really bad. Where's that healing potion? What? Where am I healing? Oh, there's one. Wait, what? What are you doing? Heal, jackass. Jesus Christ. Alright, just run away from this thing until it resets. And loot while you're at it. Jesus. Reset, jackass. There's another one of those random ass enemies who was like way higher level than everything else. Or way tougher than everything else. Wait, what? Ranked easy. What the hell? Like, why are like suddenly. Like, some shit like doing a fuck ton of damage. I don't get it. Like, do I have gear that's broken or something? I wish that pet could actually tank worth a shit. Okay. Let's go to the second signal. He keeps, he keeps <laughs> spawning on top of me. It's weirding me out. Die, asshole. Damn, 37%. Ah, oh, God. How many of these things do I want to fucking kill? Oh, okay, we're getting close. Pretty quickly, too. Ah, some more you jackasses. Lovely. Isn't it lovely? Stop bouncing all over the goddamn... Like, the one shot, and I pulled him off of him. After a taunt. Double kill. Think of my uh, tank tank bot needs a little work. Needs a little bit more aggro. All right, where's the heat signature? Uh, heat signature? Yes. No. There we go. Double Triple kill. kill. Mm, yeah. Aft stabilizer. Strange burn pattern near the aft section. Maybe it actually was a malfunction. I sure hope we find Lydia. I need to pay my tab. Jesus. You alky. Get help. Okay, the third signal. Okay. But yeah, man. Ugh. Daily quests, like, like I say, it's such an interesting idea, but man, like in practice, they're soul sucking to me. 